Hey guys, this is EC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is how to weigh 410A refrigerant into an empty and evacuated um, system here. All right, so we pressure tested this system. We evacuated it uh, down to 500 microns. We tested it afterwards, made sure it held vacuum, which it did, and now we're getting ready to weigh this in. The important thing to realize is you actually have to weigh this 410A refrigerant in as liquid into the liquid side. This system has 12.5 pounds is what it needs. And if you try to weigh that in as um, a vapor, whether that would be R22 or 410A, you're not going to be able to weigh much in, maybe a pound of that 12.5 pounds. 410A, you have to weigh in as a liquid anyway, or at least it has to come out of the bottle as a liquid. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is the safest way for your compressor when you weigh the refrigerant into the liquid side. Uh, this way, it actually has a chance to go through the metering device and do a phase change um, before it comes out to the suction side. So it should actually enter into the suction side almost as a vapor, as if the compressor was already running. It actually is applying pressure, uh, forcing the refrigerant through the metering device. All right, and then it's coming back to the compressor through the suction line. You do not want to weigh liquid refrigerant into the suction line. So here we go. We do not have to purge the hoses because the hoses are already all in vacuum. All right. I'm going to open these ports up here and here. And we're going to start weighing in as a liquid refrigerant. All right, so we got seven, seven ounces, eight ounces. So we're going to see how much we can weigh in before this will stop. We need 12 pounds total, and the system is completely empty right now. getting close to two pounds. Very far off from what we need though. Like I said, if this was R22 and you tried to weigh it in as a vapor into the vapor side from a completely empty system, uh, which you could do if you wanted to, but uh, really you're not going to get the amount of refrigerant that you that you need to get into the system. At least with the liquid you have a better chance of uh, putting more refrigerant into the system uh, from the get-go. All right. What that what it is actually is the liquid doesn't apply the force. It's actually the vapor. So this bottle's at saturated state right now. Where there's liquid and vapor in it. Vapor's in the top part. Liquid's in the bottom. All right. And the liquid's coming out and going into into our liquid line right here. All right. And after it goes in and it ends up hitting that metering device or there's a area where it's a lower pressure at, it's going to vaporize. And the vapor is what's going to actually apply pressure on the system. All right, so once once the pressure of all the vapor um, starts applying its force, all right, that's when this bottle is going to stop being able to charge into the system. And then at that point, we're going to have to then um, stop charging in the liquid side. We're going to turn the system on, and then uh, we're going to end up weighing our liquid refrigerant in through a vaporizer uh, into the vapor side. All right, we got five pounds now. As long as we can gain, uh, you know, gain on pumping the refrigerant into the system, uh, from a from a point of not even turning the compressor on, we're going to try to get it in as much as we possibly can. And now we're approaching six pounds. 
I don't know if you've noticed, but on the temp stat right here, I've had it on the liquid line, and it was actually at 64, 63 degrees or so, because that's what the outside temp is. And now it's at 43, all right? And that's just from the liquid refrigerant actually going into an area where it's lower pressure, and then it's vaporizing in that beginning portion. See, now the temperature's going up, and there's no frost on the line now down here. The very beginning, it was actually pretty darn cold uh, down on that liquid line if you were watching that uh, temp stat. Right, we got seven pounds coming up. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue weighing this in, uh, but uh, this is the gist of how to do it, uh, how to just weigh that liquid in without the compressor on. You weigh the liquid refrigerant because it, the liquid's down on this part of the bottle. All right, you weigh that in to the liquid side when the system is off. It has to be off. Otherwise, you're going to hurt the compressor. Um, it's not going to work, all right? Um, or you could accidentally try, you're actually maybe even putting refrigerant in the bottle, which you, you're not supposed to do. All right, the refrigerant only comes out of this bottle. But basically, you get the gist. So uh, this is how you weigh in refrigerant from a system that is empty and evacuated down to 500 microns. All right, hope you enjoy yourself, and see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.